Hey, what's up guys? Bueller here. I just wanted to go over a short little video on how to play trend lines and how to draw your trend lines. <clears throat> and uh, a little bit of TOS settings, because it seems like a lot of people need some help with some TOS. Um, but uh, if you just want to draw normal trend lines, you can just click this active tool here. Go to trend line. Or you can even go up here, click drawings, all that good stuff. Uh, I have a toolbar. I have to set a video up on how I did that. Uh, my friend Trevor showed me this. Uh, but how to how to how to draw trend lines and how to play them. So a good example I found just now was on AMD. Let me take all this off. So I actually did trade this and profited from this. But a trend line we had here was a good little rising channel. And it's good to draw both sides of it, but um, it's always good to just get at least one side so you can see you know a good formation of where it's going. But yeah, my double confirmation is how I play things. So if I would have played uh, the rise, I would have played above the high of the trend. I wouldn't have worried about a lot of the information on the left. Now I would have set a good, you know, target about right here. But playing the trend line itself, you'd see you had a rising channel here. Connected there, there, there. Many times. Sellers trying to take it over. Uh, buyers could have easily have just taken it from here as well. But uh, they just happen to not take it this time. But you had those trend line. You you have your trend line there, and I marked all the points where it touched. And people always ask me, do wicks matter? It's really up to you. You could draw straight from the wick, to, but if you do, you need to draw to the other wick, not to the body. It needs to be accurate. And if you draw from the body, it needs to go to another body of the candle. It doesn't need to be one and the other. But either way, trend lines are just useful for seeing you know the overall trend of where things are going. If you, you can sit here and draw all you want, but you need to figure out how to execute on it. So after it fell out of this, my first signal was to enter here. And I always tell everybody, you know, that's that's a strong time to get in. After it breaks out of the squeeze, you could do your double confirmation like I show everybody, which that would have been way down here. That would have been that line. Which was actually used as resistance before it was... uh. A bigger move down as you see so you have your trend line you have your point of interest you have your break you even have your double confirmation lines your next step is to set your profit targets like that line I set up there that would be where you look next to either re-enter or take your profits or both honestly my next one probably would have been this line actually no Next line, probably I probably would have gone back to the left and made sure of whatever the next uh, support was or resistance turn support before it popped on the left there. You can't always do that because not every play will be at the end of the day, but this is good for power hour stuff. So you have your trend line, you have your break, you have your consolidation that didn't come back up with buyers to get back into that range, and they broke that little, they broke this range actually right here. That was the range it was trying to break throughout all this consolidation. Then it just fell out. See, this is why I say you need to be setting your stop losses efficiently because if you it did enter here aggressively, you need to damn well have your stop loss a little bit above it because you're going to have some consolidation and you're going to have to hold through some rises. You're just going to have to hold your tongue. So I probably would have set a stop loss probably right here, honestly. I'd be willing to lose 10-15% on a trade like that. You need to be willing to risk it for the biscuit. But you had this. You can say it's a flag. I'm just going to say it's consolidation. And then it fell back out of that range, and then it came down to your uh, profit profit target. Now, when you do get to these profit targets, you can do a few things. You can scale out of your position. You can you know sell one of your contracts, hold one down for further, and then sell it. You know whenever you feel you're being too greedy, <clears throat> or you could just exit entirely and wait to re-enter if it breaks this strongly. That is a little harder, or more messed up if you have you know pattern day trading or any of that good stuff, but. This is just strictly about trend lines and how to execute it. And that's just one example. I can go over another one. I'm sure there's a hundred. Yeah, right here. Perfectly. I grabbed it from the body. I can extend it to the right as well. But all I did was grab that trend. And you're seeing if it's going to re-come up and test this double top. Any of these resistances... You're seeing if it's going to come back and get back into this these ranges and make a bigger move out of this range. 
That's what you're testing for. If it doesn't, then it's most likely going to make a further move down. So you know if you break this this low, you're confirming that the trend is still uh, going down. So back to this trend line, though. Let's get back to the original trend line. Your point of interest. Got a bunch right here. And then it fell out. So let's say you enter aggressively. You entered as soon as it retested right here. You entered here. That's where you entered. You're going to be looking to stay in your trade if it breaks all those points of interest. So I have a line there. I got a line there. And I got a line there. And look where they all end up hitting. They end up hitting very, you know, other good points of interest. Those supports are turning into resistance. They're not support anymore. Support, resistance, support, resistance, failed, support, failed, failed. It's it's confirming that I can stay in my trade. All from a trend line. Now, once you get past this, you got to open your time frame up more. And you got to look at other other drops. So, I can see that there's a strong uh, support here. And what do you know? Happens to be being used even more. Right there. And it was even the retest. That would have been a solid time to re-enter. All from trend lines. And you can go on your charts and practice this. It's really it's really a good practice to go do. So let's let's look up a random one. Tesla. <clears throat> Honestly, this one right here. So like right now in Tesla, if it needs to be it needs to break this to actually follow suit with the trend. My first confirmation would be breaking this. My second confirmation would be breaking this to confirm that we're going lower lows. So then you set your lines there and there. Now you can play to now you can play the ranges and execute them. Throwing on your risk management, that should be easy. If it goes against your way, I mean so what? You cut it. If there's no reason the only four ways you should exit a trade is a small loss, a small win, nothing, or a big win. You should never have a big loss from trading on your risk management and your system. You stick to the system. Stick to your plan. But I definitely recommend going to your chart and practicing all this. Drawing lines, seeing points of interest, We'll let that one develop a little while we could do one more example. Actually, I'm going to leave that purple line there. That one's important. So if you know if it fails out of this, you need to look to your left and look for other common uh, supports. That's a pretty good support right there. So you know if it breaks that level, it'll continue further down towards this not really an inverse head to shoulders, but it's close. So you know you got your three supports right under that. And I guess this is also some practice on support and resistance, but you need to look at everything as support and resistance. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave that off for that video. We can check AMD one more time. Just give everyone a good last picture of what I was doing. Rejected, and it's continued down. So what's going to be the next one? Here. It needs to break this if it's going to continue a lower low. So, and your trade was up here. Hold strong, hold strong. Confirmation to stay in. Confirmation to stay in. Hold strong, hold strong. If it breaks this, confirmation to stay in. Honestly, though, at that point, you're being a little greedy. You should just take your profits. It is the end of the day. It is power hour. But uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.